What's going on guys, it's your friend Jack and today we're going to be taking a look at some basically new graphic images that were added to Merge Informer and if you guys aren't aware, Merge Informer actually has their own design tool where they actually supply you with a lot of free SVG images that you can use on commercially for all your merch and I do believe these are actually some good resources and they update it every month. Recently they added another I believe thousand designs to the pool of already existing thousands of designs and that was just this month so we're going to take a look at these basically graphic images and I'm going to tell you guys basically what I've been doing and how I've used these in the past quite a bit especially when I was doing 20 designs a day to get lots of designs out. Alright so here I am over on Merch Informer and if you guys want to get to this tool if you're on Merch Informer you go to the top right click on your name and then just go down here and click the merch designer tool and it will take you to the merch designer page then you can sign in and after you sign in you can click your product and what I usually do is click the t-shirt because I design for t-shirts but they also have other things like red bubble designs and other things like that the, the default t-shirt is 4500 by 5400 I believe the red bubble canvas is a bit different a weird size However, I usually st I was sticking to the merch dimensions at the time of basically using this tool. I haven't used it in quite a while. I have been using Photoshop, but I still do use the graphic images that they have on here because if I can't find something I like on the other pages, which I use, which I will make a separate video on. Honestly, if you guys want that, I have a bunch of pages I use for free graphic, free SVG images and things like that that are commercially usable. However, what I usually do is I do click the product and I change it to the t-shirt and you can also change the color of these shirts really easily it doesn't save the color of the shirt it just it saves transparency uh, when you click the download button up here so it's very simple but what we're going to do is i'm going to show you guys the new images that they added and if you go to here images and you go to resources they have a lot of images you can search from so let's just go pool and you're going to see they have a lot of images that come up and these images uh, range from a lot of different things you can search here to find what you want another thing they also have are shapes which are pretty nice just to add in some things to text-based designs they also have a clip art section which is what they actually added to quite a bit so you can search from all of these and a lot of them are absolute most of them are absolutely free they have a lot of good ones so you to search for a dog for example and you get a couple dogs you click it and it comes right onto the screen here and it's very easy to use I really do like it and there are a bunch of other things too you can click on them change the color of them things like that and it actually is pretty useful if you want to change the color you just come up to the top right and press the fill button I actually use this tool all the time back when I was first designing uh, t-shirts because it is a really good way to make designs I believe this is a groundhog if I'm not mistaken but right now you could easily just go over to the left hand side click on something like text and pretty much just drag in whatever text you want. They also have a bunch of text options. I have a bunch imported, but you can load fonts and upload fonts. So this tool is kind of like a better online Photoshop because it's meant for designing. So honestly, this is included with the Merch Informer trial. So if you're interested in this, I do highly recommend it. It is a really good tool, especially if you don't want to download software. It is very quick and snappy. Unlike free tools, online Photoshop, not as fast, and I wouldn't really recommend those. They don't really let you do as much so something like this it takes two seconds to make and their images are absolutely free so say i want to make a design for groundhog day this would be perfect maybe i'm mistaken that's not a groundhog and i'm absolutely just crazy something else you could do which i like is the images section you can click on them you can also upload your own and you can i can spread it over the text say and then i can click this button up here which is the star and it masks and then I click on the layer I want to mask and bam, just like that, I have some fancy looking text and you can do that with any of the designs in here. I could put in lava and then once I put in lava, I could find a same thing. I could do that with the groundhog, press the mask button then click on the groundhog and bam, we got a lava and water groundhog day design. It's really simple and I never shared this tool with anyone. I've never showed you guys basically me using this tool because I didn't use it as often recently however I have been missing and I have been doing some designs on it because they do have a lot of free stuff on here and it is really easy to mask basically these nice textures that they give you and anything really over top of items and text 
and I really do like that. And also another thing I like is that you can basically go to upload fonts, put your favorite fonts on here, or load over a thousand fonts. You can search them. So if we put Beba, Bebas, and we search, um, they have Beba New. They have pretty much. They have so many fonts. You can just press Add, and then it'll be over here on the left hand side. I can click it. Obviously, once you mask a layer, you can't actually change the text. So what you can do is just click on this and write text again. Then you could grab the image on the left hand side here and remask it. It's the same exact process, but they have a lot of fonts and all the fonts in here. You don't have to check if they're commercially free. You don't have to check anything because they are commercially free. All the things on here are commercially free. And when you have Merchant Former, you can use this tool along with the research tool. It's all included in the same bundle. It costs, I believe, 10 bucks a month. And if you if you want to get 20% off, you can use my code at Jack20. There's a link down in the description. However, you don't have to use the code, but it is 20% off for a lifetime, so it's not a bad deal, honestly. And I think the research tool alone is worth 10 bucks. So I think there's a lot of value for Merchant Former, uh, especially with the new clip arts that they're adding every month. You can just go here and scroll there are tons and tons of things and you can also change the color of these you can change the effect of them you can change a lot to it so along with the clip arts images and you can mask them honestly i don't know why i didn't share this tool with you guys earlier <laughs> it gets me really excited just to show resources like this because i really do think this is a great resource it integrates with a lot of things and when you want to just download you just click download and it downloads it right away for you in the bottom left. It's pre matted, it's pre formatted for Merch by Amazon. So 4,500 by 5,400. Most people who use Merch Informer are on Merch by Amazon. So this is probably gonna be the best option for you. So I know this video kind of just seems like a huge promo for Merch Informer, but honestly, I got an email from them saying they added 1,500 more graphic images for free use. So I figured I'd make a video about it because I completely forgot about this amazing tool. I was using Photoshop really recently and in the past week I haven't really been making designs. I've slowed down a lot and I've been trying to focus on other things. I have made a, I have made designs but uh, I haven't been full tilt like I was before making 20 a day. When I was making 20 a day I used Placeit and I used Merch Informer Design Tool because it's so quick and easy. Basically you just grab your images, you grab your text, you don't have to really do much. Photoshop's a lot slower for sure and the process of this, I just click download, I move it over to my folder. It's very straightforward and that's why I did like it. And I still do highly recommend it. I still do use a lot of the graphic images on here. So things like from this section, the images, I use them on my Photoshop designs and especially the things on the clip art section, I always bring these images and things like this that I can't find on my other websites that I use for basically public domain images. I find them here and I bring them over. And like I said, I just click the download button after I put it, I import the design like this. I can change the color with the top right. There's also a bunch of other features. However, I change the color and then I would obviously not have all this other stuff in here. And then I just click download and I get a transparent background and I just get my graphic image. And it's really simple. That's another way that you can basically use this tool uh, and integrate with Photoshop integrate it with place it because place it lets you upload graphic images as well and really just expands your portfolio so the more basically graphic images the more ways you have of sourcing good quality designs and putting things together the better and this is definitely another tool that i feel like basically it's just an add-on to having the research tool of merchant former if you want to know more about the research tool merchant former it also comes with this design tool then i have a lot of videos on that some research videos and there actually has been quite a few updates to the tool no change in the price still i believe ten dollars a month you can get a free trial too if you click the link down in the description and 20 percent off for lifetime pretty important and I do highly recommend it. I've been using Merchant Informer for I believe six months now and between research and the design tool it is not disappointing me and they're adding updates so that's pretty darn nice. So just in case you guys haven't used Merchant Informer before I'll look right here they have a bunch of things on the left hand side here basically they have a lot of different tools for researching uh, Merch by Amazon listings that's what the research tool is based off of it's based off of Merch by Amazon shirts and sweaters and pop sockets and all that. So they have all these tools, trend hunters, trademark checkers, which is actually really handy. You can bulk trademark check, competition checker, merch hunter, a bunch of other tools that I do use pretty frequently, almost daily. I use something on Merch Informer because there are a lot of basically applications to this. Even though I don't have a Merch by Amazon account, I still use Merch Informer, which is pretty insane. 
And yeah, they also are the people who made BookBolt, so a really good company, and they have a lot of great tools. So once again, I would highly recommend this tool. And I know this sounds like a huge promo, but it's just because I've been using this for months upon months. And I really do want to show you guys how you can use this tool. And even me, I haven't used all of these tools. I haven't used a lot of them, like Listing Optimizer, I haven't used Keyword Finder, I have used, but Product Search, I haven't used. So a lot of them, I haven't even used and I still get a lot of value out of this tool. So I wanted to share this with you guys and this way of designing with the Merchant Former tool. If you want to know more about how to use the Merchant Former design tool and you're kind of confused from this video, let me know down in the comments. I'll make a separate video making some designs step by step with you guys if you would like that. So let me know if you do like that type of idea for content and I'll make some of those videos. And with all that being said, that is the end of the video. I wanted to share this cool way to design with you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the like button. It would mean a lot to me. And if you made it to this point of the video, comment down below Informer. All right, I-N-F-O-R-M-E-R, -E Informer, basically the end of Merge Informer. And I hope you guys have a great freaking day. Keep striving, stay blessed. It's been your friend Jack and I'll see you guys in the next video.